Woo! Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today, it's cold as nuts. It snowed. It snowed like seven inches last night. It's, it's, uh, yeah, it's been a little snowy. But today, we're gonna be doing something special, something I've been wanting to do for quite some time. We got Bonds Daddy with me. He's just here for adult supervision. He has to make sure I stay in line because, you know, I just, I can just get kind of crazy sometimes. So, we're gonna go into the store and we're actually shopping today for my dream boat, my dream bass boat. This is something that I've been waiting for for over a year. I mean, you guys know I got the 10 pounder, I got the squeaker seeker, I've got all this stuff. I mean, I'm like, I, I just need a real bass boat, like a real, real bass boat, like something I can, you know, take into all the ponds and just do everything and just like catch a lot of fish. So that's essentially what we're doing today. We're gonna go shop around and see if we can find my dream boat. I think they've got it here. I'm, I'm like 99.9% .9 sure they have it here, but we'll see once we kind of get inside. Before we get inside, I've got some important news for you. So what we have launched at the Guggen Squad is Team Guggen. And if you guys wanna go sign up, click the link at the very top of the description. You guys can go sign up, fill in all your information. And uh, basically you sign up, if you get accepted, you're gonna get a discount on Guggen Baits, Guggen Apparel, basically anything that's Guggen branded. And you're also gonna get an exclusive invite to our meetup that we're having at the warehouse at the grand opening sometime in April. We're, we're getting a warehouse, if you guys haven't seen it. Um, I think Rack will post a video, but we're gonna be filming in it soon. But you guys get an exclusive invite for that, as well as discounts on Guggen Baits and Guggen Squad Apparel. But essentially, just click the link at the top of the description, go sign up, you're gonna wanna do it, and uh, see if we can find a boat. Oh, look at that. If you, do you guys know what this is? It's called a spoonbill. Paddlefish. I'm actually thinking about doing a trip, I think at the end of March, early April. If you guys want to see me go catch these prehistoric dinosaurs, I think I've done the last like four or five years. Let me know in the comment section down below. But Is that a Nebraska brute? That, those are Nebraska brutes. You know, guys, I'm building the brute bakery. I expect nothing smaller than what's on that wall right there. These are massive, crazy. I didn't. I don't even know why I'm over here. You ever walked into the store and then just went into the corner? Yeah, me neither. I just had to show you guys that. How's it going? I'll show, let me try them all. Oh, all right. And I'll make a decision. There, pecan. Pecan. Cashew. And the almonds. And they all have that cinnamon vanilla That's good. Yeah. What about the pecans? You better get me one, too. What do you want? Pecans. The best. Oh, okay. Oh, baby. Here she is. Wow. <coughs> What's the price on this? Oh wow, more than my life. Okay, never mind. We're not getting that one. We're gonna. Yeah, shiny. We need it. It is shiny. It's too big for me, man. Like yeah. we're in Nebraska. We don't need any of those. Need something just a little bit smaller. Only a little bit. Here's what's on clearance. Thirty. That's not bad. What is that? A one fifty pro. How long is that one? Oh, is the eighteen and eighteen twenty one for fifty five? Yeah, not gonna happen. What else we got on here? The party barge. I think we I'm kind of vibe. Barge. I'm kind of vibing on that party yeah. barge. I'm gonna kind of analyze this and then we're gonna walk around these boats and pick one out. We'll see what happens. This might be a move. Dude, this would be the absolute, ri is there a trolling motor? Oh, you just hook it on the back. What do you think, should I buy this? All right, you're gonna get your you can get whatever, man. I can get whatever? Just just walk home with it? Oh, there's still a price tag. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, in that case. I feel like everybody in the Guggen Squad needs to get one. We'll wrap them, everything, it'll be good, yeah. Ooh, dude, can you get on, get on that real quick? Let me see what you, you look like on this. this. How fast do you think something like that? That's a 90? I don't know That's anything about ATVs. Do you imagine you, me, me with like the freaking six seater and then you just like ring, just like ripping behind me. We are seriously thinking about getting an, not today, but getting an ATV. Probably in between a 300 and a 700. But like, look at this. I think like this would be perfect. You get like a feeder on there so we can like put out deer feed and stuff like, you know, before the, before the season. We can haul the decoys in this trailer. Like, I feel like we could use this down on the farm. Like we've got, Right now we have the Warthog, but something like this, I feel like it's a little bit more maneuverable. Also having me being able to drive the Warthog or Austin drive the Warthog and then one of us drive this. We could get a lot done. A lot would get done if we each had something to drive around. Plus it'd just be a lot more fun. Let me know what you guys think I should get. Whether, I don't really care if it's the type of brand, but like how big. Is it, if a 700 is enough, you guys let me know in the comment section down below. But the rig that's going on here just, just looks like a farm rig and it, feel, it feels like it's something I need. It feels like something I need in my life. So anyways, we're getting distracted. We gotta make our way back to the boats. All right, we're making our way to the boat section. Not gonna go with this this time. Um, I know Rob tried it once. He had it for like a month, so I'm assuming it didn't work out super well, so I'm not gonna go that route. Pontoon would, would be pretty sick. I mean, like imagine, I think the Guggen Squad should get a pontoon boat. I don't think I should get a pontoon boat because I don't want to buy one, but just imagine the Guggen Squad making videos on something like this. We do a big bass challenge frog fishing the lily pads <laughs> on a freaking pontoon boat. A lot of what we're doing is just literally just BSing, trying to figure out which boat I'm gonna buy today. 
because I really don't know. I just want to come here and just buy a boat. That's all I want to do. I think the Guggen Squad should get something like this. This would be, this would be pretty neat. All right, here we go. Dude, I'm kind of vibing on this thing. What's it, 26 grand? Okay, still worth more than my life, but I might be able to swing it. It's just a little guy, just a, yeah. a short little fiberglass. I don't, I'm not a huge fan of the blue, but it's not terrible looking. What about back here? Yep, then again, worth more than my life. Wow, who is out here spending 75 grand on a boat? I, whatever you do for a living, I want to do what you do. This is insane. They have no bass boats back here. <laughs> no, this is the only boat section <laughs> they have. They have one 16-foot nitro and then they've got the 21 footer that was 50 grand up front i expected so many like d down in texas the amount of boats is just like they have way more boats than this this is like nothing there's no boats here <sighs> well folks i've come to the conclusion that um i don't know if i can afford the real bass boat that i really want i mean i just at this point in time in my life it's just not investment that i'm wanting to make in in something super expensive you know they've got this which i'm actually kind of halfway tempted because it's how much is this thing we're talking 12 grand which that's not nothing. You know, it's not bad. This is kind of like the boat that I grew up fishing in, a little little track or something like this. I feel like would do, would do nice. You know, go, going to all my hometown lakes and stuff. I feel like I feel like this sucker would work. But I just I don't know. I just don't know if I can justify it. I just I just don't know. I think for today, again, you know, buying my dream bass boat. I think I think I know what I'm gonna get. I think I, the, it's the boat that I've been wanting for a long time. They have it. Here it is. Right here. No haggle or hassle. Ten foot topper. 1036 a little john boat this is a flat bottom though so that you, i've got the 10 pounder but that's not it's not a flat bottom that's got a kind of v bottom it's really really heavy especially with all the new like compartments that we have in it this right here is something that's a little bit smaller i want something that i can put in the brute bakery move around throw in the bed of my truck i don't know if we're gonna get a trailer for this one or not but i don't know if we should get a 10 or what's over is this a 12 that seems like quite a bit freaking longer okay so we've got we've got a 10 footer or a 12 footer. That's the decision. I've had a, was, was my first, my first, was that a dog? Hey buddy. What's up? Hey bud, what's going on? 11 weeks. Yeah. All right, see you buddy. All right, come on. Well, sorry, I got a little distracted. Puppies, you know. It was either a 14 or, or a 12 was my first John boat. You guys remember my original boat that I had out of the green carpet? I want to say it was a 14, but it wasn't a wide. It was a narrow, which a 36 I believe is a wide. I'm pretty sure I had a, I had a 14, 32. So this is four inches wider. I don't know. I'm, my heart is saying 10. This looks perfect. One, one being that it's, you know, like a hundred bucks cheaper. Two, it'd be funnier because the probability of us falling out of it is a lot higher, which better for the content. Yep. We all want to see Bonds Daddy fall in the water. But the reason why I'm buying this and the reason why it's my dream bass boat is because I'm going to make it into a bass boat. Now, this is not a bass boat, okay? But I'm going to make it into a bass boat. And this is going to be episode one of a series. I don't know how many parts this series is going to be of building this thing into a bass boat. You guys saw last year, I took the 10 pounder, gave it to Josie. Josie just worked miracles on it and turned it into a bass boat. Now we're going to do the same. I don't know how advanced we're going to go into it. Basically, make this thing into a bass boat, a miniature version, something a lot cheaper and something that probably a lot of you guys can relate to is of actually buying. Like, you know, a lot of you younger guys are dudes balling on a budget. This is something that you guys could maybe afford, you know, $700. And then you're going to see later in this video, we're going to go run to Home Depot or Lowe's or something and buy just some wood, some carpet and stuff like this. And I'm going to show you guys how to build a mini bass boat. That's going to be this series. I'm pretty excited for it. How do you get this thing off the wall? Two thousand years later. Well, I didn't get a trailer with this boat, and I lied to you guys. Well, they don't even have a ten-footer, but I decided to go with the twelve, just because I figured, you know, it'd be kind of fun to put Bonzo, me, and John uh, in it at the same time. I think a ten-footer would just wouldn't work. We'd definitely sink it. Twelve, a little bit longer, a little bit better for fishing, but we didn't get a trailer, so we're gonna try to put this in the back of my truck without uh, without losing it. Howdy. It's over there. What's that? It's actually over oh, there. okay. Yeah. All right, we're in the wrong spot. Oh, so he's, oh, he had to walk all the way over here. <laughs> Feel bad for him. But you can like jump on the tailgate or something. I'll give you a ride. So he's just been staying out that whole time. Dude, he's probably pissed. Yeah, I appreciate that. Oh, he stuck out like eight feet. Well, we'll hope for the best on this one. There's no promises it won't come off on the interstate. We're good. Woo, all right, we made it. Well. It's a boat. Well, we are at the Men of Nards here, and uh, we gotta get all the goods for this boat build. So I don't think I'm gonna be actually building the boat in this video, because it's gonna make it way too long. So you're gonna have to tune into the next episode that I'll post in a few days from the time you're watching this to see the actual building process. We're gonna put it in my garage, kick some heaters on, and get to work. We don't wanna go ice fishing this week, so this is what we're doing. But we're gonna go get all the materials in this video, see if we can kind of get everything that we need. 
You see the buddy at the triple stack over there? What? The buddy at the triple stack? Buddy had the triple stack going on over there. Oh, wow. That's a quad stack. Listen, brought this kid. I call those dad cards. It means you're doing dad things. When you get when you get the big lumber car, it's like, I'm doing dad things today. Where do you need it? Where do you get them? You find them throughout the store. Oh, really? It's like a scavenger hunt? I wow. Know. Menards is fun. We don't want to put your carts in one place. You got to go find them. The dad cart has been spotted. That's not a dad cart. Oh, I thought it was a dad cart. What the hell is that? <laughs> I mean, oh, that's used for big cart. We do uh, need car. We need carpet, so oh, we're good. See? Wow. Look at that. All right, we need some carpet. I don't know how much, but we need it. Gray, this, this is what I need right here. I need that. All right, well, we got the carpet. Just went with traditional gray. Here we go, dad card has been found. All right, we need some wood. Grab that. That is not a straight board, put that back. Straight as an arrow, son. So we got that wood, and now let's, let's see what else we need. A hinge and some sealant, a staple. I, I can borrow a staple gun. I don't need, a, I don't need to buy, buy a staple gun. I can borrow one of those. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh, like the actual deck. We need this. We're gonna go in the lumber yard and get the actual treated wood, and I think that might be it. General construction, here we go. So you don't want it too long because then if you reach your hand down there, it's just gonna... Are you... You good, bro? Sheesh. <laughs> He's like sprinting. A quick excuse me would have done the job too. No, we're getting another car. This thing sucks. All right, we're moving. It's a tripping hazard and it's just annoying. To uh, Lost Hunter Green. You need to get a pan then too. Wait, well, don't just dunk it like a like, a, like, a, like an Oreo and some milk. Nobody does that. Oh, it worked just fine. You just grab it. All right, just... you do it then. We don't need a pan. Does that fit? That fits. All right, we got a tray. We're good. Well, we got something we didn't think we needed. We got some enamel paint, basically. I call it Josie, who built the ten pounder. And I was like, Josie, what do I use to seal it? Because if I'm going to cut it, the wood, even if it's pre-treated wood, uh, what do I use to seal it? And he told me this. So we got this roller pan, just some stuff to seal it after we cut it. Josie did say not to get the pre-treated wood, but Josie, I already got it, so it's done. It's paid for, so I'm gonna use it, and we're gonna hope for the best. Are we done? I think we're done. Wow, this, I was like, hey, let's just grab a piece of plywood, throw some carpet on it, maybe make a hatch. 19 products later, and we still have an entire, probably two days worth of work to do this after we seal it all and do everything else, but. Let's go pick up the plywood. For your car is your shopping cart. Drive forward and exit the other. Okay, we're just gonna drive through this. Is there anyone out here? Hey, Jimmy. Oh, he's moving snow. He ain't gonna help us. There's no one back, dude. I'm telling you, Menards is the worst. It's what is this? Where it is? What am I looking for it's here? Half five inch. eighths. Five. Is there a number on this, or something, or just a human being to help me? Excuse me. <laughs> Really? You just walk in the on No. Sorry, can I get help finding something? Uh, sorry. I don't know where that's at. I found some plywood back there, but I couldn't find five eighths. You, I would tell you to go back to the end of the building. Yeah. And step inside the door because it's inside. Oh, it's okay. Mistaken. Really? Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. You know when you're bored? Honestly, go buy a piece of lumber from Menards and see how long it takes you to find it. I guarantee you, you will have a great time doing it. Cause it's just like spinning laps, driving around, wasting gas. It's a freaking amazing time. This is just annoying. This is just absolutely unnecessary. Well folks, it is the next day. I couldn't finish the vlog. I got a little heated folks, okay? Menard's not impressed with you guys. This is all I wanted, was just this piece of plywood, okay? Just, just a nice piece of plywood. And they're like, yeah, here you go, buy it right here, go in the lumber yard and go find it, okay? It's like a freaking scavenger hunt because there's a million items, nothing is labeled. I ask one guy, I'm like, hey, can somebody come help me? Hey, I'll call somebody over. Waited 10 minutes, nobody came over. Went back inside, hey, can somebody come help me? Yeah, 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 he's supposed to be over. Radios, waits 10 minutes, nothing. I'm like, okay, so I start just driving around, just trying to find this piece of plywood and I find the half inch because it's labeled, but the five eighths 
is not even anywhere near it. Not, not anywhere to be found. So again, after probably 30, 40 minutes of me going around, driving around, asking everybody, somebody comes out and he's like, yeah, it's over in this corner. And then that's all I said. He expected me to go find it in the corner. So I'm like, okay, let me go drive. I drive out of the corner. And it's just random plywood everywhere. There's no labels. There's nothing. There's no, it doesn't tell you if it's treated or untreated or five eighths or half inch or three quarter. There's nothing. So I'm like, oh my God, should I just take this piece of plywood and hope for the best or, or what? I was like, no, I don't want to get the wrong thing. So I go back, tell Buddy to come help me. He come help, comes and helps me. He takes off the top piece of plywood that's covered in snow. And then we take off the piece of plywood that we bought. And then he gets in his forklift and leaves and leaves Bonzo and I to load it into our truck. Like, what are you there for? What, what is your purpose in life at Menards? If you're not going to help me load it, you're barely going to help me even find it. It's just like, if I went to Lowe's or Home Depot, I could have been in and out in 30 minutes. I was there for an hour and a half trying to buy a piece of plywood. It was just absolutely absurd. Long story short, the boat is here that came with this dent, by the way. What the hell, Bass Pro? Can you guys see this? Look at that dent. Like, that's a decent freaking dent. I don't understand what is wrong with these people. I'm buying, I, I spent $800 on this boat and it comes with a giant gash in it. Like, I didn't see it because it was covered in snow. In which, by the way, I had to dig it out of snow. I mean, I'm not super pissed about it, but it's just like, come on, guys. Customer service, what are you doing? I don't know, if I own a store like that, I would hope that it would be ran better than Menards and Bass Pro. Bass Pro, I'm not super impressed with it. It wasn't terrible, but you sold me a freaking boat, brand spanking new with a giant gash in it. Luckily, it'll be covered by the deck. And luckily, I just don't care enough to go return it. But uh, that's pretty much what we have going on. You guys need to stay tuned until the next episode to see building it. Today, we're gonna be building it in my garage. Actually, it might take a few days to kind of do everything that we want to do with it but it's gonna be a bass boat conversion for under $1,000 with the boat, the plywood, all the materials were already under $1,000. I don't see me having to really buy anything else. So this is gonna be the $1,000 John boat to bass boat conversion video that will be coming up next. This is just the buying the boat video. So if you guys enjoy this type of series, let me know, I'll do it again. I, I really been wanting this flat bottom for a very long time. I've got the squeak or I've got the 10 pounder and the squeaker seeker. I wanted a flat bottom, something that I can just kind of push into ponds, stuff like that, you know, a little bit more maneuverable. But like I said, if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know in the comment section down below. Really do appreciate the view. Peace.